Good morning YouTube family and welcome back to another YouTube video. It is another early morning start because anyone that's been to Ghana, especially Accra over the December period know that it is very very busy. They call it Deti December and the traffic's madness, there's so many people but the vibes are just absolutely amazing. So if you want to get anything done you've got to wake up early and try and beat the rush of people that are going to start probably around 9, 10 o'clock. So it's just before 8 o'clock right now, just took a shower, just got changed, put on some light breathable clothing because it's going to be another scorcher outside but you cannot complain when you're in this absolutely beautiful country. So to start the day, I'm very very hungry so we're going to go back to one of our favorite places that we had discovered in another YouTube video that we said is probably going to become our staple breakfast place. So if you've watched previously, you know where we're going to head. So I just wanted to welcome everyone to the video. Say, just come along, join the family, and let's just enjoy this weather. Let's just keep on spreading Ghana and Africa to the world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And the first stop of the day is at our new favorite restaurant, this French bakery over here because they serve probably the best omelets in the whole of Ghana and probably that I've tried in a very, very long time. You can see people already sitting outside. It's not even nine o'clock and the traffic is not busy at all. So it's a beautiful start to the day, a couple cars outside, but we're gonna go inside, enjoy some food and I'll show you all about it start off we've done the proper french way we've got a croissant we've got black coffee and my dad enjoying it we have our mom on the side and they also have a bakery over here where you can get all of your things so actually afterwards we're going to go get our breads we've got the croissants straight from the bakery but they are super nice look how nice and puffy they are they are warm and really really fresh also the size of the coffee you get look at this for service a nice big cup normally when you go to restaurants especially in europe they give you these small little cups and charge you through the roof but all in all the scenery is beautiful the finishes are really great we've also ordered some omelets but we're going to eat this first and then show you the omelets afterwards omelets have arrived i went for a spinach omelet looks absolutely beautiful you can see how moist and just how great that looks it also comes with two pieces of like sourdough bread and some salad my mom ended up getting exactly the same as me and then my dad went for a sun-dried tomato without the olives but it looks really 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 good so now we're all gonna dig in and enjoy it once again it was an absolutely amazing experience helena was our server again and she is just a super lovely happy passionate person and it just makes the whole experience so much better when you have someone that's so enthusiastic and and just loved what they're doing so thank you so much if she ever sees this i know we gave her a review also to say that she was just absolutely fantastic food was great once again now we're probably going to drive around have a look at a couple of different car shops because it's about time our mom's going to try and upgrade her car we're also going to go to one of the shopping malls and just keep on showcasing ghana and accra and just absolutely everything about it but the food again absolutely 10 out of 10 environment 10 out of 10 service 10 out of 10 you can have anything from omelets to sandwiches to steak to the bakery section to the cakes and everything like that as always going to be in the description come and support it come and check them out i know they're a very very new bakery slash restaurant that's just opened up so it's important to support these people especially when they're putting so much effort into the service and getting a quality product across so with that being said let's continue the journey
This is one of the reasons why I love Ghana so much is all the little shops along the way. And like I said, we don't really go to the big main shops. We support local. So we come and get our waters here. We come and get our juices, everything you need. If you need something to wash clothing, you can get it here. If you need packets, bags, absolutely everything, things to clean the grass. So you can see they have all of the balakwa outside here, toilet paper, and then it's an absolute vibe in the inside. They don't sell the beer? So they have some beers, they have alcohol, they also have like a lot of stuff if you need to clean yourself and it's just really really amazing because not many places in the world do you get somewhere like this where it's literally just a reuse shipping container that's just been stuck together, all different panels and then from the outside there's just everything you need. So you can see my dad in there now grabbing everything all the different colors it is such a vibe and it's just something that makes this country so special just the diversity of everything you can expect So the next stop on the list is the Marina Mall. You can see it in the background. It's a place that is absolutely massive. And because it's still early on a Saturday, there's not that many people. So we're gonna come and check it out. They have lots of different shops. They have like the sushi shop, the pizza hut. They have local food. They have cafes. They have absolutely everything. There's lots of parking. They have upstairs, downstairs. They also have an underground parking bay. And it's just, it's a really, really lovely, neat, well-looked after mall. We just had a look at Mercedes-Benz, Suzuki, and which is the other one, Mitsubishi, because they're the ones that have the big 4x4s along this road. Unfortunately, apparently it's a long weekend this weekend. But absolutely no idea, so it's probably something to do with welcoming in the new year. So we were unable to look at those shops. There's one more, a Range Rover, that we will pass on the way home. Fingers crossed those are closed. But it'll be great to show it on this video. If not, next week when everything opens again, we'll for sure showcase all of the the cars and everything like that you can get in a caravana obviously whatever car you get is not important it's just something fun and something different to bring to the channel but we're going to head inside now and yeah you'll see it's a really really great mall airports just behind us they used to have their massive airport airplane outside no longer there they've taken it away and they've moved it to another area because they're apparently cleaning up the area and putting something else there so very different since i've been coming to ghana there's always been the massive airplane everyone probably knows it, it was a restaurant inside but let's head in You can see the whole shop and the shopping center and everything is really clean, really ultra modern and because it's a Christmas period, they've done really, really amazing decorations with all the lighting and everything. It looks really great. So we're coming here just to get a couple of things to just keep us at home when we're a little bit hungry, just to nibble on and things like that. Also sweet potato fries are one of my favorite things in the world. So we came up because some sweet potato fries, some fried chicken because I'm absolutely in love with fried chicken. The amount of fried chicken I eat is probably actually unhealthy, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Now we're just going to pick up some, some mints, a couple of other things, and then continue on the day. But you could see the quality of the, the whole, the mall itself, the supermarket is really clean, really hygienic, and really well looked after.
unfortunately all the car dealerships were closed but we've just got home now there's still a lot of the day a lot of the afternoon left the weather is still perfect it's actually a very very hot day but it's just beautiful to see the development and the growth and everything in ghana from uh, everywhere you're driving around you're seeing hotels being developed apartment blocks office blocks so it's something ghana should be really proud of to be able to see the type of development and the 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 clientele that they keep on that they keep on bringing into ghana and also growing the local uh, entrepreneurship market and everything it's really really amazing always seeing all these new buildings all these new businesses one thing that we always said that Ghanaians are just entrepreneurs by nature they are so good at creating products at selling products and really really good businessmen and businesswomen so I hope you just enjoyed that showing you through the city throwing you through all the different neighborhoods the and that's not even the city center this is just the developments in the areas around the airports around airport hills around cantonments and it's just absolutely mind-blowing but now let's head inside We were sitting at home just joking around and my mom was like, oh, what do you guys want to get? Me and my dad both said ice cream. So my mom researched and found the one place that was ranked the highest in the whole of Accra to come and get like ice creams and snacks and everything. So we said we're going to make a little video on it. Contact them on Instagram. It is behind us. It's called Chocolate Sarai. It's got really, really amazing reviews and everything on it. It's on Osu Oxford Street. You can see number one Oxford Street at the bottom there. You just come around the turning circle straight up there, parking outside. It is an absolutely beautiful day. It's around 3.30, the sun's out, it's shining. Everyone is just still in the holiday spirit, in the Christmas spirit. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead inside now, show you what they have. They had some amazing reviews. I think they were rated like 4.6 on TripAdvisor. They have the Olive Accra sign over there. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go end up heading inside now, trying it out, and I'm sure we're gonna have a lovely time. We just finished up now. I had a chocolate milkshake. You could see my mom had like these crepes with fruit with Nutella on the top. And then my dad had a really, really nice like waffle. He said he would definitely be coming back for it. All in all, the atmosphere and everything was really great. A little bit strange though, you have to pay 20 CDs extra if you wanted milk with your coffee. So we said we presume it must be a Turkish place because they don't have milk in their coffees. But we still said like, okay, this is strong. We would have expected to have been told that beforehand. But besides that, it's really really great we're just trying to cross the street now you can see it's a really busy time being in osu right now because <laughs> it's getting to the evening people are ready to go out there's lots of clubs in this area it's night market and all of that but you can see absolute vibe and just a little bit down here is a really really famous picture where if you come to ghana you have to take it i've had it taken a couple times but i thought today let's get another one taken you can see it in the background it says i love accra but absolutely crazy. This is a street you saw in the other videos. If you don't know, you can come, you can get everything you need, all, 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 all your streets and everything like that. So it's really, really nice. So we're gonna have a photo here, head back in the car and then drive back home.
Finishing the evening off with a lovely walk. You can see the sun setting in the background. It's my favorite time of day because it makes everything go this like beautiful orangey color. And I think it's most definitely needed after we ate all of that food and everything, but really, really beautiful time. This is the financial place. There's the Ernest Young, Price Waterhouse Coopers, some billionaires burgers. So it's a really, really lovely area. This is just the route I walk to try and burn off some calories, sweat it out. If anyone drives past and sees me, I kind of look like a Christmas tree because I've just thrown on like all different, different color clothes. But you know, we just living the life out here and not trying to look perfect while doing it. So just going to walk a little bit further, maybe for 45 minutes, an hour, just really get a nice little sweat on and then finish it off jumping into the pool. So I just wanted to include the video there. Thank you all so much for your continued support, positive energy, positive attitude. And I think we're growing one of the most positive and strongest families out here, supporting Africa, supporting Ghana. So thank you all so much. It really does not go unnoticed. I read every single comment and just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.